Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. From child prodigy to distinguished maestro, in over 70 years of music making, he moved the hearts of countless audiences with exquisite beauty, profound meaning, and message of peace. Daniel Barenboim, A Life Fostering Peace Through Music, Part 1 of 2. Continue watching to find out more. A friendly art fire from the residents of North Ossetia Alenia means hello in the native Ossetian language. I'm Svetlana. The hospitable citizens of North Ossetia Alenia thank you for choosing peace and compassion to usher humanity further into the golden era. Welcome to our program, Daniel Barenboim, A Life Fostering Peace Through Music, Part 1 of 2. One of the greatest classical musicians of our time, Mr. Daniel Barenboim, is an internationally celebrated pianist, conductor and humanist. Ever since his debut performance as a piano soloist, at the age of seven, he has been seen on many prestigious stages and has become especially revered for his interpretations of the works of Mozart, Beethoven and other classical and romantic composers. As a legendary conductor, he leads the world's finest orchestras in a rich repertoire of work, including symphonies, chamber music and operas. Throughout his musical career, Mr. Barenboim has been honored with many awards and accolades, including six Grammy Awards, the Grand Cross of the Order of Merit of the Federal Republic of Germany, Knight Grand Cross of the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic, and Honorary Knight Commander of the Order of the British Empire, Edison Award for Lifetime Achievement, and Premium Imperiale in Japan, to name just a few. Apart from his extraordinary artistic achievements, Mr. Barenboim is renowned for his courageous and earnest efforts to promote peace, open-mindedness and free dialogue through music. In 1999, he co-founded the West Eastern Divan Orchestra to promote communication and unity among musicians from Israel and the Arab countries. His humanitarian efforts have earned him numerous distinctions, such as the Wolf Prize, Otto Hahn Peace Medal, International Service Award for the Global Defense of Human Rights, and Dresden Peace Prize. The United Nations also named him a Messenger of Peace in 2007, and he has been granted citizenship for both Israel and Palestine. Born in Buenos Aires, Argentina, on November 15, 1942, Daniel Barenboim grew up in a family of Jewish-Russian immigrants. Both of his parents were professional pianists and his piano lessons with his mother started at the age of five. He later continued to study piano with his father, who remained his only other piano teacher. Before reaching the age of eight, young Daniel gave his formal debut as a piano performer in Buenos Aires. A year later, he performed in Salzburg and then Vienna and Rome. In 1952, his family settled in Israel. At the age of 12, Daniel started attending master classes in conducting, which were taught by the eminent composer and conductor Igor Markevich. He also met and played for the renowned German conductor and composer Wilhelm Futwangler in the same summer. It was Mr. Futwangler who inspired young Daniel to become a conductor when he saw the maestro conduct a performance of Bach's oratorio, 
St. Matthew Passion in Buenos Aires in 1950. Young Daniel's rare talent indelibly impressed Mr. Footwangler. With deep appreciation, the conductor invited Daniel to perform Beethoven's Piano Concerto No. 1 with him in the acclaimed Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra. Even though Daniel couldn't make the trip, Wilhelm Futwangler still cherished his exceptional musical gift and emphasized his talent in a recommendation letter. The 11-year-old Baron Boehm is a phenomenon, he ardently remarked. Wilhelm Futwangler remains an important influence on Daniel's artistic endeavors. Later, in 2002, Mr. Barenboim made a Grammy Award-nominated recording by conducting the Chicago Symphony in the American premiere of Futwangler's Second Symphony to pay a tribute to this great but much misunderstood musician. After attending master classes in conducting, the piano prodigy went to Fontainebleau, France to study music theory and composition with one of the most celebrated music teachers of the time, Nadia Boulanger. Meanwhile, he gave classical performances on various international stages, including Paris in 1955, London with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra in 1956, and the Carnegie Hall in New York in 1957 under the primary conductor of the period, Leopold Stakowski. All these dazzling concerts were performed before Daniel reached the age of 15. It was in 1954 when Mr. Barnboim made his first solar gramophone recordings. They included the most important works in the piano repertory, such as piano sonatas and concertos by Mozart, Beethoven, and Brahms. In his earlier recording career, he focused more on the music of the classical and romantic era. By the late 1990s, he expanded his musical repertoire to include pieces by Baroque, 20th century classical, as well as jazz and folk music composers. In 1957, Mr. Baumboim started devoting more time to conducting and made his debut as conductor in Haifa, Israel. Starting in 1964, he kindled a close relationship with the English Chamber Orchestra as both conductor and pianist. They performed frequently in England and toured all over Europe, as well as the United States, Japan, India, and Australia. A few years later, Mr. Barnboim was invited to conduct for the Philharmonic Orchestra in London and the Berlin Philharmonic. Since then, for over half of a century, he became a conductor in demand with many of the world's leading orchestras and opera houses. In 1966, Mr. Barnboim met the gifted cellist Jacqueline Dupré. They gave concerts together in Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, and a few other cities in Israel during the period of the Six-Day Arab-Israel conflict in June 1967. Jacqueline converted to Judaism, and they married at the Western Wall, Jerusalem, in the same month. Daniel and Jacqueline's romance and brilliant talents made them the darlings of the classical music world. Together, they performed around the world and also made a few exceptional recordings which earned them several Grammy Awards nominations. Their collaboration with their musician friends Itzhak Perlman, Pinchas Zuckerman and Zubin Mehta made the legendary Schubert Trot Quintet performance at the Queen Elizabeth Hall in London in 1969. The precious occasion was recorded in Christopher Newpin's award-winning documentary film Franz Schubert, The Trout, The Greatest Love and The Greatest Sorrow.
However, the couple's collaborative musical aspirations were disrupted tragically by Jacqueline's illness in 1979 when she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Due to the severity of her illness, she was forced to retire from her music career and passed away in 1987. In 1973, Mr. Barenboim conducted Mozart's Don Giovanni at the Edinburgh Festival, which marked his debut as an opera conductor. Two years later, he was appointed as music director of L'Orchestre de Paris, and his tenure lasted for 14 years. During that period, he conducted more contemporary music by composers such as Lutoslavsky, Berio, Bully, Henze, Dutiu, and Takamitsu. In the meantime, Mr. Barnboy also performed as pianist and guest conductor with other orchestras and opera houses. In 1976, he was honored with his first Grammy Award by winning in the Classical Album of the Year category for his Beethoven, the Five Piano Concertos recording. In the same year, his collaboration with Miss Dupri for the complete Beethoven sonatas for cello was nominated for the Best Chamber Music Performance. Mr. Barnboim was named Music Director-Designate of the Chicago Symphony Orchestra in 1989 and succeeded the retired Sir Georg Schalte as the Music Director two years later. The post lasted until the summer of 2006 and the orchestra voted him as Honorary Conductor for Life. Their collaboration resulted in many notable recordings and exuberant performances. Between 1992 and 2002, Mr. Barenboim became the general music director of the Staatsoper Unter den Linden, also known as the Berlin State Opera. And in 2000, he was named chief conductor for life of its orchestra. Under Mr. Barenboim's leadership, they worked on large-scale cycles, namely Richard Wagner's ten major operas, Beethoven's symphony cycle, Mozart's Da Ponte operas, Mozart's piano concertos, Bruckner and Mahler's symphony cycles, plus many more. In addition to these classical romantic repertoires, they have also focused on contemporary music, such as Elliot Carter's only opera, What's Next? and Sir Harrison Burt Whistle's The Last Supper. Mr. Barenboim and the Berlin State Opera were honored with the Wilhelm Furtwängler Prize Award in 2003 for their outstanding accomplishments. Serene viewers, thank you for your company today during Daniel Barenboim, A Life Fostering Peace Through Music, Part 1 of 2. Up next is Tim Thorpe, Vegan, Campaigning for a Vegan World, Part 1 of 2, right after Noteworthy News. May the peace and light of the divine illuminate your heart and uplift your spirit. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash AJAR. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique AJAR. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada a j a r Naše programy nabízejí více jazyků. Prosím, navštivte suprememastertv.com lomitko schedule a suprememastertv.com lomitko a j a r 